Assalamu alaikum habibati and welcome to another Arab Man Reacts. This is my first ever reaction to Fauzia. This is actually the first ever time that I ever listen to Fauzia. And I know what you're going to say. She's an Arab artist that's international. Why don't I listen to her music? I just don't. I just don't. If I'm being honest, I rarely ever listen to Arab artists. Rarely, rarely, rarely. Like, I know the stuff that used to play on the radio from when I was a kid, and that's about it. I don't listen to any of today's Arab artists. Not the pop ones, not the indie ones, some of the indie ones, like Mashura Alayla I listen to, you know? But besides them, Da Finci, I listen to that guy. He's Sudanese rapper, let me tell you, he's freaking amazing. Uh, who else do I listen to? I think really that's about it. Dana Hurani and Hadi Sariuddin, but Hadi really sings in English. Anthony Tuma, but he also sings in English, French, and Arabic. That's them. That's the, that's the bunch. But yeah, my first ever time ever listening to Fauzia, my first ever time ever reacting to Fauzia, and she's doing a song called Desert Rose, which... I think everyone's very familiar with. I'm not sure if it's very popular in like the States and Europe, the song. Um, this was done by Sheb Mami and Sting Sheb Mami, and I don't want to get this wrong. He's Algerian or Tunisian or Moroccan. He is Algerian. Did I say Algerian first? I think I said Algerian first. Yeah, he's just a fantastic, phenomenal singer, and he's done some amazing songs that, you know, back in like the 90s and stuff that still are played all over. Any wedding you go to, any club you go to, you're going to hear a Chef Mommy song there. So anyway, here it is. Let's go. So it's interesting because the actual song is, there's like a wind instrument playing in it. And then like... The drum beat sounds, if I'm not mistaken, like it was made on an on electronic, uh, it's an electronic drum beat. It's like on a drum machine, not, not actual drums, if I'm not mistaken. And it's melodic. I'm trying, I haven't listened to Desert Rose in a very, very long time. Also, this is in Abu Dhabi. It says Al Mujamma Al Thaqafi, which is cultural foundation. Um, Al Mujamma, more like cultural camp. Isn't that what I would call Mujamma? It's like campus or camp. Anyway, uh, I was born in Abu Dhabi. So, back, this is filmed in my hometown. I think I know what people like Fawzia. So that Layli, a Layli, that's called Tilin. That's what it's called. And it's something that is very core to, to, to traditional Arabic singing. Like, Layli, a Layli. And, and, and you can take it and twist it and turn it in whichever way that you want. And it's just a beautiful thing that we do, that, that I think is a beautiful thing that we do. <laughs> It's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I literally have goosebumps all over, dude. Like this is, it's such, I'm, I feel so proud right now. Honest to God, this is fantastic. Um, I'm just, my, my heart is full. I'm so happy. Like I'm, uh, it, it's really amazing to hear this. It's really amazing to see that, that, that it's reminiscent of what Desert Rose is, which is expose Arab singing culture to the world. Now, this is very Algerian singing culture. And w when the Algerians sing and the Tunisians sing and the Moroccans sing, so the Arabic that 
There, there's, I want to say there's four kinds of Arabic, maybe five. So you've got like Gulf Arabic, which is closer to like proper Arabic, like the Arabic that we learn in school and, and we write with. Then you have Levantine Arabic, which is the Arabic we speak in Lebanon, Palestine, Jordan, and Syria. And it's a softer kind of Arabic. And then you have North African Arabic. The, the Algerians and the Tunisians and the Moroccans, um, very uh, different than anywhere else. It's actually difficult for us to understand it the most. We do understand it, but it's, it's the most difficult for us because it's got French embedded into the core of the language and, and they've got the syllables that are pronounced differently. They've got different wordage. Arabic is very rich in words, two million plus words. So we use different words everywhere for the same thing. And then you've got like your Egyptian Arabic, which is just standalone. It's just its own thing. And then you've got something like Sudanese Arabic. Like Sudanese Arabic to me is like the easiest. It's like white Arabic. It's the easiest for anyone to, to, to really understand. But the, the, the key thing about it is that um, Algerians sing in a very specific way, a very rich way, and you can't get this tonality, the, the, this type of singing, this beautiful usage of melodies and, and, and micro notes and quarter notes, rabayet and everything, just the way they use them, and so quickly and, and so good at fusing all the different parts together in that they're they're born with a talent for it that you can't really see anywhere else. And it's gorgeous just to hear it like that. Oh, and one other thing, and I swear to God, I'm going to shut up for the rest of it. I think I've spoken for longer than this video has been playing. Um, there's a beautiful harmony on this part in the original song. And she's singing alone, so the harmony isn't being played. But the keyboard is actually playing that harmony on the keys if you listen to it, if you listen for it. The harmony kicks in right here. See how he's playing it? Beautiful end here. This is the other Arabic thing that we do besides Tallinn is Aman Aman. Aman Aman Aman. I butchered that entirely. I apologize to Arabs everywhere. And to all ears everywhere. So it's basically the Tilin, the Aman, the Aman Amans are basically freestyling. It's it's ad libbing. That's what it is. And Desert Rose was for the most part just that. It was Sheb Mami freestyling over the entire song, you know, and and just in the most gorgeous way. Like if you listen to Sheb Mami, if you if you listen to Sheb Khalid, if if you listen to them, and you see what they're able to do, I'm gonna link you a song. I'm gonna pin. I'm gonna uh, pin a comment in a song that I want you all to listen to. I swear to you, it's three incredible rock stars fr from North Africa. It will destroy your ears at how good they are. Harmonies again. Each other fails the secret promise. This desert rose, yeah, no sweet perfume ever touched me more than this. Yeah, the mutato, 
That wasn't ad living. That was actual uh, words, by the way. There. No, it cuts so quickly. Oh, there's like uh, back. Oh, this is wonderful. I'll watch this on my own time. Don't worry. But it's just, it's beautiful. It's, where's Fauzia from? She's got to be like Algerian or Tunisian or Moroccan. Moroccan, yeah, there it is. Moroccan. Um, definitely a proud moment for me. Very happy to react to every Fauzia song that there ever is. Um, it's just nice to see that someone's carrying the torch forward, bringing it into the modern age. I don't know if that's her singing style. That's what she's putting out. Um, I don't know if all she does is Arabic or she does Arabic and English as well, or she does like a fusion thing with them. So it, it'll be interesting to discover. Pap um, enjoy the rest of your day. I love you. Salamat.